sharp lc-52 le 830u plug the tv to the power how much is this flashing standby light with no picture like if i push the power button no change flashing the the led standby this is how the tv looks inside we're gonna start measuring some uh, voltage in the power board you can see the pins here and uh, what's the pin do we're gonna look for the pin 15 sure we have 5 volt cause that standby light is uh, is flashing 9 11 13 and 15 so in the pin 15 we have 5 volt and the pin number uh, 14 we should get uh, some signal for the main board to turn on the TV. Should be in the bottom here. I'm gonna put it like this. I'm gonna push the power button. I got nothing. Like when I push the power button here, there is nothing comes. It should be jumping to the three volt or something like that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna jump these pins the pen uh, number 14 the power supply on with the pen 15 the standby uh, voltage i did put the the jumper between the pen number 14 and 15 and i'm gonna push the power to the here and you can hear the clicks that's mean the other voltage is turning on yep so if we measure at this pin here, we have 13 volt now. So before we had zero. So what's going on now is at the first, the main board is receiving the five volt, but is not sending the signal to the power board to turn on the other voltage, the 13 volt and the backlight voltage. So. For that problem could be this this a problem with the main board, something wrong with the main board. Could be something wrong with the backlight. Next I'm gonna check the the backlight voltage here. So between the pin number one and the pin number uh, number two where it said the LED plus and the LED minus, we have 75 volt. The other LED between the pin number uh, Three and number four LED testers it like it testing as an open line so between the pin number six we have 75 volt between the pin seven and eight we have uh, 75 volt so all the other pins they give us a good voltage except the second one is mean between the pin number uh, three and the pin number four I'm gonna to have to check the TV part more. They will check that uh, we have a four uh, LED strips. There is one, two, three, and four here. So the four sides. I'm gonna test this one. At this test points. So this LED is on. I'm gonna test this one. It's not in here. Yeah, this LED doesn't turn on. Maybe that's the bad one. And I'm gonna go here. So this one is good. And This one is good. So the bad LEDs is this one here. So here, put this again. So nothing. We're gonna start testing the LEDs. To here is good. To here is good. To here is good. And here. Trying to find which one is bad. Good. 
are going good here. So what you hear is good. What you hear is not. We have no work here. This is the last LED, and this one here, these two, they don't light up. This one here is no work. On this one here, it works. So the bad one is here. So this one is bad. So we know this LED is good. So this one is good. Here is good. Yep, it works. Good. There is another one here. This one here, it does work. So before it, it works. Let's go after it. It works, but that's one it doesn't work. Come on, come on. The rest of it, it works. So this is the LED that I changed. So we're going to test all the LED from here. So we plug the TV to the power. We still have this light flashing. What are we going to need to do now? We're going to need to reset it. It will be the volume, uh, the volume down, channel up, and the power. Try again. I know that it's turning on. This is how you reset it. You put the volume down, the channel up, and the, the power button. So here is the picture. The LEDs we fixed, they were here in the top. And now it's all looks good. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and see you next one.